Hello and welcome back to Rambler's Roots, the online library of high quality walking routes. We're now on the fifth step of developing our walking route from Eton Dorney through to Windsor in the Rambler's Roots wizard. Uh, we've already gone through and plotted out our route, we've written up our route descriptions, we've added a bit of information in terms of rating features and themes, we've given a description on how to get there and where the route starts and ends, and now we're going to spice it up with a few really good pictures that you've taken on route. And these are the pictures that really start to draw people in to start downloading and looking at your particular route. First thing I'd recommend you doing before you do anything is first please go ahead and read our uh, terms and conditions. Uh, with regards to adding photos, if you click on there, it will open up in a separate tab. Please feel free to have a read through there, make sure you're comfortable with it. Uh, once you've read those and you're comfortable with them and agree them and accept them, click on the plus sign. Next thing you want to do is you want, want to add a photo. So go to browse, choose file, you'll navigate through to where your images are. Uh, I'm going to click on the Mary Magdalene Church, open. It will then upload, click on here, write a little bit about your a uh, bit of a description of what the image is about. I'm not a very fast typer, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep it fairly short. Mary Magdalene Church, uh, oops, not very good on the spelling front, on the River Thames. Okay, the photographer was myself, so I'll put my name. Justin Bend, and if you took it from a web link, or if you've got a maybe perhaps you've got your own website where you've given a bit more information about the Mary Magdalene Church, perhaps or something similar, you could always put a web link over here, but it's not necessary. Okay, once you're happy with that, save your photo, and you will then see that it has been set down here. You could go ahead and do some more editing on it if you want. So you could come back and make any changes. Um, but if once you're quite happy with what you've got, you can then go ahead and add some more photos. The other thing I request you do is you actually choose to make one of your images the default image. When you set something as your default image, when people go into the, the Roots library, alongside each of the Roots, as well as the root uh, title and description, will be an image. So pick out your best picture, the one that really encapsulates or gives a, a general feeling of what the Roots about, and make that your default image. On this case, I've only got the one image here. I'm going to make this my default image. All you need to do is uh, save the cropped image. You may decide that you want to crop it down a wee bit to maybe make it a bit more. There we go. Save cropped image. And that's now going to be my default image. So anytime someone looks at my root in the root library, they will see the Mary Magdalene Church. Guys, that's it for, for step five. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Uh, if you want to go ahead and submit this in, onto the next stage, click on Next. Otherwise, save, come back and work on it later. If you click on Next, I'll see you on Step 6 in the Step 6 video. Thanks very much. Thank you.